This live video will tell you who is the real scammer online. This guy, his name is Mr. Salwan Kanwar. He is an Indian Canadian. This guy, he blogged me on rip off page, on rip off site. We responded with his blog. We did not scam him. I did not receive money from this bastard. He went to Ghana with a contract of 10 kilos. And when he arrived in Ghana, he cannot afford to pay 10 kilos. He only pay 5 kilos. He only pay for the tax. Right. And I told Justice uh, Ancient Mining Company, why did you trust this seller, this buyer from Canada? A minute that the buyer changed his, um, his contract, that buyer is very dangerous. Now this buyer's mandate, he traveled to Ghana before this guy arrived in Ghana. Now this is his uh, buyer's mandate. He was, uh, his name is Heidi. Heidi was excited that Wilhelmina, I saw the gold is real. I'm open, I'm gonna open an office in Ghana and we're gonna earn good money. I told Heidi, relax, take it easy. Because gold is very complicated. Now this, uh, this guy, I have a contract with him because I am a seller's mandate. And I said to Justice, you ruined my name, but it's okay. Uh, justice, this bastard, he tarnished my name. I did not receive any single dollar from this, this Indian Canadian. When, uh, when he blogged me and he even harassed me, he threatened me, but I don't buy threatened because I know where to stand for. When I called the refinery, the refinery is here. The refinery said, no, I didn't ask the gold. And this guy, he said, the gold is fake. How did it become fake? And he was there in Ghana. He asked the gold at geological, right? And he did not pay the five kilos, the value of 250000 He only paid $17,000. And then he did not even give the copy, the, 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 the documentation to the old man, the father of justice. The father of justice is the one who would deal with this, this idiot. What is the cause of the death of um, the father of justice because of this man? He couldn't believe that the white man ripping them off. And then what he said, he, he threatened me, he harassed me. He blocked me on rape of fine. I don't have any problem with that. I don't give a shit to anyone. This is the real scammer. You know what is the meaning of scam? Lie, deceitful, crook. A minute that the buyer say, I will buy gold, I will pay taxes. That man is a gold trader. He's going to sell the gold to the refinery. The refinery didn't buy the gold. And then he accused us that the gold is fake. In fact, Justice was saying, Wilhelmina, tell Heidi, this is Heidi, the buyer's mandate, to return the gold because we will replace the gold. Right. And then he complained us, this guy, he complained uh, ancient mining company to the Interpol police. Justice was being called. And you know what the police in Ghana was saying? I admire the woman in Australia because we responded this idiot, his blog. If anyone read on, on um, rip off, you read properly. I didn't receive any single sense from this idiot. I spent phone calls and monitoring their movement while they are in Ghana. And another guy as well, this guy, is uh, an, um, Amir. He also blogged me. He is, the, he is a real scammer. He is Palestinian. He float around thinking that you can get gold for credit. Gold is not for credit. This is the guy as well uh, from Mexico. He signed a contract of 50 kilos, Eric Blasco. We, I uh, arrived in Ghana three days prior to his arrival. He was excited. He met my seller, Orum. After the gold has been assay at the ER logistic, he doesn't want to see meet me again because he try he go behind my back. And this is the guy that after the assay of the gold, we return to to the uh, boardroom. And what did Eric says? I know your concern and your needs. It's on my video on my Facebook. This is a real scammer. Eric is a broker. And this is the buyer, Mr. Marine Cortez, right? So who is the, tell me who is the real scammer here? Now this video, I'm going to upload this on YouTube so that you people,
that you accuse me that I am a scammer. I don't receive any singles, and this is a real scammer from Mexico. We were in a cross shopping center, and we treated them like a VIP. We paid all the food that we uh, eat on, um, on in Accra shopping center. After the gold was tasted at ER Logistic, 50 kilos, he cannot afford to pay it. That was 24 million. He only paid the ASA report of 5 kilos. And then after ASA report, he doesn't want to see me because he, he wanted to become a seller's mandate. Okay, lucky that I stopped the shipment of 50 kilos. That was 24 million at the time. This is Eric Blasco. He is a broker. He is not a buyer. He pretend to be a buyer. The buyer is Mr. Marine Cortez. Was with him. And I even talked to Eric. I even invited Eric Blasco to have a lunch with me. And he refused because he has a bad intention. He is a liar. He is a scammer. And he went to my other uh, seller. They were thinking to get, um, to get uh, 300 kilos. The security company showed me Eric Blasco's business card. And he said that they have a buyer from Mexico. And I said, really? And when they showed me Eric Blasco's um, business card, and I told this guy, the security company, yeah, yeah, Yusuf, this is the man who ripped me, who screwed me. This is a guy from Mexico. And I sent an email to, to Nana. The, own, the main owner of, uh, of Orum, and Eric was dealing with the David Anim. Eric paid the price. He didn't get the gold because I stopped the last minute. And then he went to, um, to uh, Dangara, another idiot seller. I, I fired Dangara as well. I fired MDG. This is a seller in Ghana. May I tell you, so that you will be aware, this video, it would be a very good lesson to everyone. That you think that Ghana, easy to get gold. No. The gold is not in Accra. The, the, the seller only travel when they have a contract. The seller are ignorant. They don't know how to handle international buyer. I was in Ghana because Orum paid for my trip. Right? Orum paid everything and I was even provided by by uh, a driver. And Nana treated me like his daughter and he passed away because of bloody David. Mm -hmm. Now, there are so many illegal activities. This Eric is a, is a mafia, gold mafia from Mexico. And he pretend to be a buyer. Mm -hmm. Who, if, if anyone see this picture, be aware. Because he's traveling all over Africa. Right. This is the one that uh, we uh, we um, had a meeting at the boardroom after the gold has been tasted. He said to me, I have the video on my Facebook. I know your needs and concern. Yes, his need is to screw me. And his concern how to get the gold 50 kilos for nothing. And I bombarded the email to Nana that a minute the gold will be in the hand of the buyer, you don't have any control. Lucky on March 1st, the gold was stopped, did not ship to Mexico. And this is another Palestinian. He blogged me as well to his network. He created a network and floating around sending information to get gold and diamond. You cannot just get gold and diamond for CIF. He has a big network, okay, this guy, and uh, when I blog a person, I have a proof. This is the guy, he keep on floating around and spamming my email. And this is the real scammer as well. He's an Indian Canadian. He blogged me on rip -off. We are even, Sanwar. Mr. Kanwar Salwan, we are even, live. Live, this is you. You lied to rip off the site. And I responded your blog. This is you. You only pay $15,000, not $100,000. You asked for the seller to pay to, for, to, to pay you after, to pay them after final assay. You promised Mr. Boto so many lies. And Mr. Boto died because of your lies. And the seller cannot believe the white man ripped rip them off. I am not ripping you off. I did not receive any single dollar from you. I spend a phone calls to monitor your movement and Heidi. 
okay this is Heidi he is the buyer's mandate I asked Heidi to return the gold of five kilos and Heidi said the, the buyer would not return so therefore you are both liar because if I am the buyer if I'm not satisfied and the seller say return the gold and we will re and replace it you should return the gold right and uh, the ancient mining company is not a scammer they have plenty of gold I told justice you've been dealing with so many fake buyers mm. this uh, African have no idea they are ladies and gentlemen these um, miners in West Africa they have no idea they have a license to mine they have gold but to handle the to handle uh, international buyer they've been they've been ripped off now may I explain to you I was in Ghana together with Eric Blasco okay I was in, the, in Ghana because I had to meet this guy to monitor the movement lucky I was in Ghana if I was not in Ghana my seller would lose 24 million dollars worth of gold 50 kilos 2000 2014 see how brave am I and I met a uh, owner of the refinery and you know the owner of refinery I will not mention his name and he told me you're a brave per woman these people in the hotel lobby they are all crooks they think they can get gold for nothing I told the owner of the refinery yes I know I studied the behavior of the buyer and the seller now this is live this is the main the real scammer he rip, he blocked me on rape off now another guy from United Kingdom he also blocked me he also harassed me his name is William D Stevenson William I'm really sick and tired with you I am not a scammer because I don't ask any single sense I am here to help I am here to help to uh, to secure gold buyers and seller I don't uh, I don't uh, float around I don't solicit buyers I created this um, online procedure so that the buyers and the seller would understand that gold is not for credit now I was a victim but I it's okay I accept it and uh, since the, I was a victim I refine I try to help the buyers and seller that is why I created online procedure because when you secure gold and diamond you cannot just take the gold out of the country it needs the ownership under the name of the buyer the certificate of clearance that the gold is free of gold laundering so there are so many documentation that you need from the seller so therefore you have to pay now if the buyer say I will pay um, taxes then I told my seller then you have a problem I'll give you another situation two weeks ago uh, today is on October 4 two, two weeks ago mr. camera called from Sierra Leone he called me because of um, William D Stevenson he harassed me and I responded William D Stevenson's harassment on LinkedIn he read my blog and uh, he told me that he was impressed with my with my response to William D Stevenson and he told me that he had also a buyer an Indian buyer he went to to uh, Sierra Leone to pay taxes and then he went to Ga Dubai and then that Indian the but the seller because the seller are ignorant and uh, uh, the seller was uh, was told that the seller was told that to wait in the hotel so the buyer would not like the seller to come to the refinery to witness on the 15 kilos the value was 435 and I said to Mr. Camera call why you call me and he said I just want to ask your opinion because I feel sorry for you Wilhelmina you were being attacked I said it's okay you don't need to feel sorry for me because I don't buy bullshit mm -hmm. so when he read my uh, uh, counter allegation against William D. Stevenson he told me that uh, yes I lost gold in the hand of the buyer I said how did it happen and Mr. Camera said Oh, the buyer came to Sierra Leone to pay taxes okay and uh, and uh, he applied to Dubai and I said to Mr. Camera you have a problem because uh, you as the seller you need to pay taxes not the buyer so what you have to do I said to him what you have to do you need to put that pro taxes into the price because gold is a commodity gold is cash so 
when I explain to Mr. Camara that you put the price, the tax, then the buyer has to pay the gold. For example, I always give an example on my page. For example, you you secure 20 kilos or 15 kilos. You need to pay the 30%, the total sale value, and you will be given the gold. That's what I said to Mr. Camara. You give the buyer gold, that his payment of 30%. And he said, ah, oh, nobody, nobody advised us. Of course, the gold trader would not advise you. Because they are thinking about the profit. Now that 15 kilos, the value of 40, 435,000, right? That Indian is going to sell the gold to the refinery of 2%. And then he get the price, he get the gold, a very handsome discount. Now may I explain to everyone here. I am not an ordinary broker. I work for the seller. I try to help the seller so that the seller would not be ripped off again. Because we've been ripping off, the buyer ripping us off, like Eric, like this guy. He ripped us off. He lied. This, uh, this is the one who blogged us on rip off site. This is the man. He think, I, uh, he think that I don't know. Most of my network called me Willie. Look at this uh, thing. I said, I know. So we responded the blog. You people on LinkedIn, before you tell, come tell me, you read first what we had responded. This is the man who ripped up Ancient Mining Company. Ancient Mining Company is not a scammer. He would not deal anymore. He deal with PMMC. If you are in Ghana, you buy gold, you, uh, uh, ancient mining company only deal with PMMC. And PMMC will require you to put the whole amount of money before ancient mining company will bring his gold. This is what Justice was telling me. Mm. And now you're going to say ancient mining company is um, a scammer. No. Ancient mining company has been in gold industry generation to generation because they are royal family. They are tribes, real tribes. And this one as well. This one, he was a good friend of mine before. After we asked the gold at AR Logistics, he turned into devil. He screwed me. He screwed me. I said to Eric, you made a mistake. This is the guy. And this is another guy from pa, uh, Amer. He created this one. This one, he created a big network full of bullshit. And he plot his passport as well. I have a copy. Mm. And this is a guy. Okay? So I have a proof before I blog anyone. Mm -hmm. Now, tell me who is this scammer. When I ignore you, you get angry. Now this live video, I'm going to upload this on YouTube so that everybody knows the real story. I didn't receive any single cent from this idiot. Excuse me if I, I swear because I'm really, really angry. This is the guy. He lied. He only had $20,000 because before he fly to Ghana, he asked me, well, Amina, how much you think I bring? I even negotiate his the price, mm -hmm. 10 kilos to start with, and then when he arrived, he cannot afford to pay 10 kilos, he can only afford 5 kilos. Out of 5 kilos, he only pay $17,000. And what, he did, what the Heidi and this, um, this guy, he uh, feed the old man of wine. That old man has, is very sick and a uh, diabetic. And I said to Justice, why did you let your father come to Accra without you? Because your father is a less educated. And said, oh, well, I mean, my father trusts this guy from Canada because he promised that he's going to open a clinic to Torquay, etc. I said, don't. Because when the buyer changes, based on the contract, there is something wrong with the buyer. He is a gold trader. He's supposed to sell the gold to the refinery in Canada. And I call the refinery in Canada. So this man cannot deny it. Because when you come to me, I'm a seller's marketing consultant. I help my seller to market the product. I make sure that the seller would not be ripped up again. Because 
I was being a victim. Okay, even in Mali, I told my my seller, do not believe on buyer. We've been rejected hundreds and hundreds of fake. LOI. If the letter of intent is not on the company letterhead, I'm the one who will pick up the phone when I receive it in order to double check before my seller will send a welcome letter. Okay, now on my Facebook, I created this one. When you, when you see a buyer's uh, information, then you, we will believe that you are a buyer. Most of the, most of the fake buyers floating around on LinkedIn and Facebook because of commission. If you are acting on buyers as a buyer's mandate, buyers expect you to pay because you are working for the buyer. My seller is paying me because I, I help the buyer and the seller to make it happen. Now this video is for everyone. Right. I hope uh, everybody understand that. Thank you very much.